question so that I can read that first before I read all the other detail. It says, assume that all direct materials are placed in, in process at the beginning of the pr production and the first in first out method of inventory costing is used. What are the equivalent units for materials and conversion costs respectively? Okay, so I've got to figure out the conversion costs. I'm going to consider the materials and then I'll be considering the conversion costs. When I set this kind of a problem up, I'm going to enter certain information first, the beginning inventory, and it said that we had 3,600 units in my beginning inventory at 40%. Then it said I had completed units of 12,000. I'm going to reconsider that and I'm going to go started and completed because that's the way I like to set it up. And then I'm going to have my ending inventory which says the ending inventory we had 2,000 units one-fifth. So 2,000 uh, one-fifth complete. Now that's as to conversion cost. It's told us let's just concentrate on our materials at this point. Materials were added all at the beginning of the process. So we get 100%. So of the 3,600, those were added last month. So with regard to materials this month, we're going to have zero. With regard to those units that were started and completed, we have to take the completed units and subtract what was started. So I'm going to take 3,600 and find the difference. And that's going to be 8,400 units. And then finally, and th that was all added during the period. Also, it says we at have in the inventory of 2,000, and that's going to be all added during the period. So with regard to the materials, I'm going to have 10,400 equivalent units for materials. Next, we're going to look at my conversion costs. Now, conversion costs we have 3,600 units here, 40% complete. We have to finish those. So we're going to convert the remaining 60%. Uh, so I'm going to multiply 3,600 by 60%. And 60% is going to be 2,160 units. With regard to the units that were started and completed, 8,400, we had to convert all of those, so 8,400. Finally, we consider our ending inventory, which is one-fifth complete. So I can multiply 2,000 times one-fifth, or times 20%, and that's going to be, it looks like, 400 units. Now, if I add those together, I'm going to get 10,960. So my conversion costs are going to be 10960 and the material is 10400 So the correct answer, in this case, is 10004 and 10960